What's up, everybody? Puck Mike here back with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the upcoming products being released. Now, I did miss the release of 2122 The Cup. There I go again, having faith in UD that they wouldn't still have 2122 products unreleased. So, I was not even checking that crop of products for upcoming releases. The only thing I'll say about The Cup is unless you got a bunch of money, don't buy it. Premium product from Upper Deck, just over $1,000 price tag. One pack in the box, six cards in that pack. Don't get me wrong, definitely some huge potential and some good looking cards in the set just a big price tag pretty big checklist too lots of different sets it's just a big price tag on the set before we get into it if you want to see me open and talk about more hockey cards and follow me on this journey of hockey card collecting go ahead hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on box breaks in-depth card analysis rookie spotlights and so much more you can also check out my other channel at cards you sports cards where i share my experience selling mostly low-end sports cards on ebay some pretty cool products coming out in january we hope of course these are always placeholder dates from upper deck always moving targets but hopefully these won't get pushed too much they should definitely be released this year at least so this review should help regardless here's a look at what we got coming up in january i saw this morning that the place i buy my cards from started their box break sales and the checklist is out for upper deck ice so january 12th should be solid on that one so my next video will be a review of that checklist and of course at the end of this list we got series two slated for late in february there's absolutely no chance that all these products are released in january my experience has been that upper deck doesn't really release more than one product as a time that much anymore maybe that's just me but all these january 31st boxes probably won't stick except for maybe one or two but at any rate let's take a quick peek i'll be reviewing the checklist for each product once they're available like i said let's start with 2223 upper deck ice i really like ice as a product 72 cards 124 dollars us right now here's a look at what you get in the box you do get one hit it's an auto or relic ice premieres you got those ice crystals bunch of other inserts like the base rookies green parallels i like ice because of the designs ice premieres might have a little more hype than they're worth i got some in my store right now on ebay from 21 22 and they're not really selling that great you've probably seen those ice crystals cards out there as well for sale normally Normally I'd say $125 is too much for 72 cards, but this is one of those sets that I feel like Upper Deck actually does a good job on the designs. It doesn't mean it isn't risky from an investor standpoint, but I don't feel as cheated opening ice just because I actually like the cards. Sometimes the quality isn't that great, especially with some of the ice crystals, the way it has to be cut, and some of the acetate cards, but overall I like the product. Who should open ice? I would say collectors who want to branch out from the beginner's phase of collecting and open something different other than the flagship products like Series 1, Series 2, or Extended. Next up, 22, 23, OPG Platinum, $190 US. 144 cards. This is one of those sets that I think every collector should open at some point, at least once. You know, OPG was their own line. 2006, Upper Deck acquired the rights to the brand, so you kind of have to open it just because of the history. They're pretty cool cards because of the glossy finish. I think it's overpriced. There's 11 base parallels, 12 additional inserts like photo-driven, sweet selections. Those are hardly rare. They're cool, but the rest of the box doesn't warrant almost $200, in my opinion. Here's a look at what you get in the box. You do get one auto in there, which is kind of cool. I think it's an on-card auto, if I recall correctly. Who should open this box? I'd say collectors who already opened the OPG non-platinum version and are no longer beginners or new to the hobby. Speaking of non-platinum, the regular OPG slated for January 24th. Now this is 23-24 OPG, much cheaper box, $90 US. I feel the same about this set as I do as platinum. You definitely gotta open it at some point. For me, this box definitely has the most nostalgic vibes, not just because of the design, but because of the card type. It's a thin card, usually matte finish, so not glossy or thick. It reminds me of more vintage cards that are a little bit more fragile, but has some cool designs. It's not my favorite set because it can feel a little bit cheap and at $90 this year I think that might be more steep than what it was in years past although I did buy it a little bit later in years past so I did probably get a discount here's a look at what you get in the box decent amount of stuff in here who should open this box I would say everyone at least once okay 22 23 clear cut January 31st not really a lot to say about this one because there's literally one card in the box $90 price tag you're guaranteed an auto so that's good and there's some subsets and parallels you can get like the retro rookies which is one in 15 boxes so I mean if you look at cards from these sets you know you got 13 14 ultimate 14 15 young guns 15 16 future watch auto who should open this one card investors okay with the medium to high risk investment so 22 23 premiere and 22 23 ultimate collection both are pretty similar to me both have a higher price tag with a low amount of cards premiere you're getting six cards in the box ultimate four cards both sets guarantee an auto they just kind of give me the same vibe they have very similar designs a lot of the colors look the same to me it's very similar sets who should open this i'd say because of the autos and the patches high-end collectors and serious investors should open open these boxes 22 23 credentials january 31st coming in at 120 dollars us 48 cards in the box there's a look at what you get in the box you do get one auto or non-auto acetate card you get four debut ticket access cards eight other inserts and two tech inserts i wasn't a huge fan of these when i first encountered them but i got a few ticket relic like cards in a football collection i bought for my ebay store and they grew on me a little some of the designs can be a little bit cheesy 
but there's some debut ticket access autos that look really cool some retro ones too that might be even cooler and there's some parallels you can get on the base set like red purple who should open this box i'd say all non-beginner collectors and investors it's more pricey at roughly 250 a card so a little risky for investors but for collectors the design stands out to me compared to some of the other ud products not that it's better but it's just different so if you collect a certain player it might be cool to have some of these cards of that player in your collection 22 23 parkers champions january 31st 120 dollars for 160 cards it's not a fancy set but i do feel the same way about this one as i do opg i think everyone has to open it at least once for the history parkers was its own brand as well actually had some licensing deals with upper deck before they acquired them in 2005 it's not a high-end set and you don't get a ton in the set you get one emerald ice parallel numbered to 10 in the box 20 bronze border parallels and you get three autos but that's per case so you're not even guaranteed an auto in a hobby box to me the designs are definitely dated but not in a bad way it's just pretty basic set who should open i'd say collectors who haven't opened this product before should open it and lastly 22 23 premier hockey federation box set january 31st 25 dollars for 30 cards per set if you're not familiar with the phf go check it out it's a women's league from 2015 to 2023 i think it's sold recently and hence why we have a new women's league launching this month i actually think we already had the first game of that league pretty cool that now there's an original six of the women's league i'm not really sure why this box is being released under phf if it's a new league maybe it was planned for release before the sale i'm assuming or maybe there's something i'm missing i couldn't find any card images or player checklists unfortunately but it's a cool box to open for collectors or investors low price tag so you might want to give it a shot and of course i forgot to mention series two like i said coming out 23 24 february 28th now i already talked about the price tag on this box in my 2024 video where i talked about the bedard effect you can watch that video here if you want honestly regardless of any effect he'll have on the cards like increased potential for a high dollar pool with his name in the set it's just too much it's too much for one box it's not fair to simple collectors there's a lot of kids out there that collect two three hundred dollars for one box is just too much regardless of the potential this is where we get into it used to be a hobby then it turned into an investment where are we now there's a little bit of both but either way it's just too much for one box a lot of these sets are overpriced in my opinion yes there's huge potential but most people aren't going to get enough of a pool to earn their money back three hundred dollars it's just too much but we'll see what happens we'll keep tabs on how that box affects the market as we get closer to release date and as cards begin to sell on ebay from that set that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see me open and talk about more hockey cards and follow me on this journey of hockey card collecting go ahead hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on box breaks in-depth card analysis rookie spotlights and so much more you can also check out my other channel at cards you sports cards where i share my experience selling mostly low-end sports cards on ebay like i said a lot of these are just placeholder dates these are probably going to be moved but all the products should be released this year at some point and keep an eye out for my next video ice i'll be doing a full review of that checklist thank you all so much for watching and yeah i'll check you later